Hey guys, uh, today uh, I'm gonna talk about how to sell stuff on Amazon. Uh, so why do you why do you want to become an Amazon seller? Um, you might ask. Uh, it's basically Amazon is the largest e-commerce retailer in the world, right? Within US, uh, more than fifty percent of the online orders are actually coming from Amazon.com. Um, so it's 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 grown a lot and it's a trillion dollar company altogether. Uh, it offers so many other things, but but uh, mostly the items wise, right? So there are eight hundred million uh, items in Amazon.com store, right? And also it's in um, I think it's right now in fourteen different countries. So it's it's like a, it's growing a lot uh, these days, and and uh, it's a trillion dollar company, eight hundred million products in. 70% of them are third-party sellers. Amazon does sell, but it's like almost uh, one-third only sell, sold by Amazon. But rest of them all are like, you know, third-party sellers, millions of them, right? But out of that, only like, um, I would say uh, 10 or 20 persons are really like 80-20, if you take that rule. 20% of them are actually producing 80% 80, 80 of the um, you know the income for Amazon um, so all the sales for Amazon that's that's a lot a um, lot of uh, people right and they they are making like millions uh, of dollars every month uh, some of the sellers so you could become a seller and you could sell you could sell any any items that you want um, as long as it's it's you know it's um, it's it's been listed. There's a listing in Amazon. If there is no listing, you can create a listing. Uh, so compared to eBay, eBay is only like 6% of the US uh, e-commerce. Amazon is, like I said, 50% uh, around. It's growing. So in eBay, you probably have to create a listing. Sometimes the listing doesn't exist. Uh, but like I said, in Amazon, 800 million listings already exist. So it, that means all these pictures and you know UPC codes and all the details, descriptions, everything is already out there in Amazon.com. So you just have to, you just have to find your UPC of the item that you are going to sell, and then just find it in there. And then if it's there, you just uh, use the app. Like yeah, there's an app called Amazon Seller app. You just install it in your phone. Uh, there are like a barcode scanners and there are so many other things out there but the simple way i would say like just get an amazon seller app in your phone uh it's free you don't need to pay and get an account with amazon seller uh so you basically go to sellercentral.amazon.com for the u.s marketplace and just get a get an account with them right so they might ask uh, your credit card and some other details just give them everything they're not going to charge you in the beginning just just to verify your identity because there are a lot of scammers out there that that they are trying to uh, you know scam Amazon or even try to you know compete with other uh, high high highly selling uh, you know sellers uh, so because of that they always try to you know um, verify your identity so you just uh, like you do that and then um, um, just get an account with them first and there are two types of accounts and one is the uh, fulfillment by Amazon that's basically full everything is fulfilled by Amazon you just send everything in bulk say you are, you're selling thousand items you send everything to the warehouse and then they will fulfill everything from end to end uh, so they will pack it up once it's sold uh, one by one right not everything is going to be sold uh, same day so it could take like months so they will be storing them. They will. They may move to a different warehouse um, in in the country, uh, you know, based on the demand and supply. And uh, and then they will pack it up. They will ship it. They're not going to charge you the shipping charge. There, but there is a charge like um, some. It's very little, minimal charge. So you probably pay like five dollar per item, something like that. Um, it varies based on the price of the item and the size of the item and all the stuff, right? Uh, but you will know it when you when you list it up. Uh, so that's that's what happened. Like they pack it up and they ship it. And uh, expediter is like a prime shipping, one or two days shipping. Uh, so you, um, and then the customer gets it and they review. They put a review on your account and stuff like that. Customer doesn't even know that it's it's sold by you, but it's because it's an Amazon 
every most of the customers think that Amazon is is the owner of that item and not many knows about you know the third party sellers so basically like uh, you are using leveraging their channels to uh, you know uh, get more sales uh, if you if you had to open a website and it's going to take forever several years to sell but but you can sell items some of the some of the items that right away maybe in a few days uh, some of the hot items out there so that's the way to do, do it fulfillment by amazon and fulfillment by merchant is basically you fulfill everything but in that case is mostly like uh, you know there's not going to be a prime shipping enabled right away uh you could still have a prime shipping as a fpm uh fulfillment by M merchant but it's not enabled uh, by default um and uh also like most most customers looking for the you know prime shipping and then if you had to ship uh like you know few packages uh, it's going to cost you more than amazon shipping packages they probably pay you know a dollar instead of you pay like six dollar shipping right so all this cost you know so it's basically the five dollar the difference you're paying amazon to let them ship it but also you get more sales through that channel if amazon ships it right uh, so I would say just get a, uh, you know, get a FBA fulfillment by Amazon. Uh, that's forty dollar per month charge, and FBM doesn't have any in initial charge, any monthly recurring charge, but it does charge you after it sells, uh, after the item sells, right? Sell right, and you have to pay like a dollar for the item, and then maybe few other charges would be there but it's it's very similar like you it's going to cost you actually a little bit more uh or maybe similar like doing through the fbm and the fba right uh but i would say just start with fba and instead of fbm and uh, if you don't get any traction like three months right uh you just lose 120 dollars but you are going to gain a lot of knowledge from that experience what did it, what you did wrong and what didn't work and like you could you could adapt accordingly right that's how you learn learn the business um so um why why do you want to sell an amazon right uh, so in, why why we are recommending selling an amazon is a small business uh home based business so uh like like uh, all the stats i i mentioned before um it's basically tells you the you know why you need to sell an amazon instead of like ebay or some other like poshmark or you know through local craigslist or something else um so all those things um amazon is on the top uh because because of the fba uh so you you just ship everything in one one time and then Amazon takes care of it. There is no other uh, business model uh, like that uh, in a, any other industry. Um, so um, so sometimes you don't need to even see the products. Like like you need to source the product, right? Let's let's say you find something, you find this some some sketch sketch pen, right? Uh, so if you buy thousand of them, you're gonna get one cent per sketch pen, right? something like that you 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 found a deal but they're selling a dollar per uh sketch pen uh in in amazon so out uh, 50 cents right so it's like 50 times more uh they're selling uh that means you could actually profit that uh, you know you could buy it for a cent and then you can profit the uh the the whatever the after all the expenses right it's probably you could get 10 cents per sketch pen right something like that uh so if you're selling a uh, thousand sketch pens a month so you your profit is ten thousand dollars a month just from the sketch pen and there's no limit on the number of products you could have in in uh, in amazon once you once you open your store right but the only thing is in the uh, when you when you open your store it's a new new store right so you wouldn't have all these uh, uh, items there are a lot of restricted items mainly on the food and you know uh, other other categories like a makeup items and other branded categories but but there are like a home and garden and a few other categories they're open wide open and so but but you need to find find the item that is like a very lightweight it's not like a more than a pound or something like that uh, and then it's, it's a smaller size 
and um, and then uh, so you you can easily ship it uh, to the warehouse and also it's a branded one like you know get something that's very famous uh, and everybody knows about it you don't need to market it right it's, it sells a lot uh, and every month probably 10,000 items being sold in amazon.com and there are only two sellers selling that something like that those kind of uh, things you need to research it out go to amazon.com and just look for everything and there are some extensions out there like um, uh, just look for Amazon uh, seller uh, in a Chrome extensions just Google it so you will see uh, AMAZ, AMZ uh, Scout there's so many there out there I just have installed in in my Chrome and I don't even know the names but it pop ups uh, automatically and uh, it actually shows me um, the you know uh, shows me a lot of stats there is something called Keepa uh, extension KEPA Keepa extension that has a lot of stats and data in there and if you are a data savvy person and you know how to how to just by looking at it quickly you can you can uh, assess the you know the previous uh, three months or one year stats right how much it was selling what's the demand is there any seasonality and stuff like that all those things you can take a look and um, those are like basically the um, stuff that you will be doing to research it out uh, and let's say you opened your Amazon seller app uh, you created it and you got an account with Amazon uh, seller central dot Amazon dot com uh, that's the two two things that main initial things that you need then you need to look for you know how do, what do you want to do basically like do you want to there are three different ways you can you can uh, you know sell right one is a wholesale another is a retail arbitrage something called retail arbitrage or online arbitrage and then uh, third one is a private label so the wholesale is the one that we were talking about before like basically you buy a branded item that's like well-known item and then uh, like I said, there are 800 million uh, in Amazon.com listings, uh, but could like you know several uh, millions in those are actually uh, branded items that's being used in a, you know household everywhere in restaurants or you know it could be any small items. All those items that you see in Walmart or Target or anywhere in in the you know retail stores are all basically you could sell them in Amazon. Um, and just just find the item that you uh, your account you can sell them like if you scan that item in Amazon seller app it will tell you is a restricted item for your account or not right so you do have to scan them up uh, you know several thousand so I probably scanned like several thousands of them I, I know exactly uh, which item could be restricted for me but I uh, but my account is like more than 10 year old so I have I have several um, you know thousands sold already in Amazon.com. So because of that, I I have uh, you know I my account has um, not much restriction except on few categories. Um, but but uh, yours might have some restrictions on it. Um, just basically just start to scan it up and understand that it'll take time, right? Um, those are some of the things uh, that you need to do research uh, homework on. Uh, once you once you're done on that part like you so let's say you find out like you can sell like a hand scrubber or something right uh, or just um, you know gloves to clean your dishes something in in Walmart you found it it's for for two dollars but Amazon it's selling for 9.99 or something like that right so you while scanning you found that price in Amazon and then price in the store you know it and and then the, the app itself will show you what's the fee and stuff like that so you could kind of get that idea and there are other apps um, like a Scotify Scotify is another app that uh, I have it uh, it actually you log it log in and give permission to your Amazon account and they you scan it through that Scotify app and it automatically calculates all the rankings in that uh, items and everything and then it's profitable or not it'll tell you everything and then at the end uh, it'll tell you how much you, you are going to get profit per item and then how many will be selling in a month and how much money you'll be getting in a month 
and there are other apps uh, like a jungle scout.com extension chrome extension is there uh, there there's so many things but but just start with a simple amazon seller app and then uh, account get an account um, and then uh, like i said there are three ways you could sell wholesale retail arbitrage or online arbitrage private label right wholesale we saw it you need to find a, a wholesaler or retail wholesaler or distributor to to get that item shipped you know buy in bulk and ship it to amazon that's a wholesale uh, retail arbitrage or online arbitrage is basically uh, you know all the stores uh, online or you know local retail stores always have they wanted to clear out that items right so they reduce the price like 50 percent off 75 percent off something like that right 90 percent off some of them like that um even if it's not off like if you go to ross um ross store right you might see something that's they're always uh, like a branded items it's off um so you could you could actually source from those guys but it has to be like a new brand new looking looking and shouldn't have any kind of stickers on it and so if there is a sticker you need to able to remove it um you know using the putty um remover right and then you need to remove all these uh, glues and everything make it very shiny looking and just like a brand brand new and there's no you know seal and everything is there um so just make sure uh, that is the retail arbitrage is basically get that item from retail stores that's on sale or from online it doesn't matter where you get it but it's you need to make sure that it's it's three times um more in amazon right so the price like you are getting let's say uh thirty dollar it's selling in amazon one item and then you the, it's on sale for ten dollar then you will make a profit because one third of the cost of the amazon price uh it, you would make a profit uh one third would be would go to amazon for you know shipping and uh everything and then one third you will get it back one third is your sourcing cost so that's that's how it works uh but make sure that you know the current amazon cost could be higher uh, in the sense that you know sometimes the price always fluctuate every every minute every every few few minutes uh, in Amazon so make sure use the keeper.com or some other extension that shows the history of um, the that product uh, previous like you know what's the lowest amount it was selling for last week or what's the lowest amount in history or something like that just to get an idea before you buy it so you, you could use that app in the store and just get that item then you know basically um, that's uh that's how you source the item from the retail store but you do have to go to all the retail stores in that case like you need to jump around and keep going every day or every other day or every week uh just to source these up and uh, or online you could do it using the some of the sleek deals.net or deal dealnews.com just you will see all the deals and discounts and uh, stuff like that um some games are there ties are there like you know hot ties and it's always in a high demand uh, you could buy those things and then just stock them up in your home and then just sell them whenever it's there is it's going to be high demand like december time right uh november december time there's always going to be so many people buying these things for gifting um or it could be you know some other time in the you know uh, valentine's day some of the items right if if it's uh, you know something that's applicable to valentine's day you, you could just Hold, you know hold them until maybe January of uh, uh, late January right and then start um, uh, you could you could ship it to the warehouse and keep it ready for the day so same way like you know other days other items any seasonal items you could do that um, so that's kind of like a retail or on, online arbitrage and then the third one is the private label right so you come up with some idea like you found something like maybe a neck massager or something right and then um you you found something uh in in alibaba.com or aliexpress.com or some other um you know external website other than amazon <coughs> where you, like you know they could uh, put your label on like maybe your company name or a logo and stuff like that uh, for you know 50 cents or something like that and then you could change a little bit of the coloring and stuff like that 
and maybe a packaging you could change a little bit compared to you know what's out in Amazon or come being sold and then um, so this will give you idea uh, you know what just first let's say you order 100 items of that uh, yeah you, you do have to do some research on the item that's being currently sold in Amazon is that's a hot item and you could use all these apps and extension Chrome extension browser extension stuff like that and once you have those things uh, done and you know which which product you need to kind of modify and uh, you know put it put your label on it mm, put your company name on it that then contact the you know the the companies out there in Alibaba.com there are millions of companies and just look for the gold star ratings and you know all the other other good stuff in there uh, filters in there just just select them all and then look for uh, the one that you know good good uh, several years uh, in business um, and um, th th those those industries basically like Alibaba uh, representatives they went there and they verified everything and all these things right um, so uh, once you've done that and just contact them contact maybe two or three p different companies and just get the quote for different uh, the same item from different companies maybe at least three uh, three to five uh, and see how much the differences are like you should you should be getting low end and the high end something that range right and see if that that and the shipping and everything included uh, uh, how much it's going to cost per item for you and then you can calculate the profit right in Amazon if it's selling for thirty dollar and you could get it for five dollar and uh, but they're charging five dollar shipping for per item uh, and you had to get like say a uh, hundred items minimum or something there, there's going to be a minimum uh, number of items so um, uh, so that that's the that's their minimum so it will vary based on hundred some of them sometime like thousand sometimes it's 500 so you just have to spend that initial amount uh, maybe two three thousand dollars and then they was before you ship the bulk order you, you need to get a sample from them maybe they charge 30 40 dollar to get a sample um they may give you the item for free uh, or maybe they they charge you that for the item as well in addition to the shipping charge 30 40 dollar and once you get that item just look for everything and everything uh, the way that you want it and everything once that's done you could just um ask them to ship the whole thing to the warehouse amazon warehouse uh, so this is going to be a long video if i talk about how do you do that how do you make uh, you know make them to ship it to the amazon warehouse directly but um but we can have that in a different video uh we can talk about that later on but but just focus on right now uh, you know if you are going to do the private label right uh, just just do that simple simple order and maybe ask them to ship it to you in the beginning right you need to know how that works and then you can ship it to the warehouse uh, yourself uh, just like you are shipping the wholesale items or retail arbitrage items um, so today we are just going to talk about all these uh, you know the the concepts behind all this Amazon selling how do you start it uh, so once you start and we can we can kind of go over in depth uh, in later videos um, but I would say uh, out of this wholesale arbitrage and private label three things uh, just just um, I would say start with the retail arbitrage or you know uh, online arbitrage and then be, and then convert you know convert into wholesale or just do the wholesale only right directly go for a wholesale um that way uh it's kind of it's kind of um uh easier than private label because the private label used to be easier um three four five years ago now uh it's like very saturated but but you can still do it you need to be creative more creative than before uh so be people have like same items you would see you know 50 sellers doing it in a little bit different way but but there are items out there that you could still dig deeper into Amazon you know items uh, and then find out which one is really going to be profitable for you and that's that's what you need to focus on but but it's going to take long long time to be successful with private label 
products but but with the retail arbitrage or online arbitrage you're basically buying something that's already everybody buying right everybody buying the items like you know let's say baby food right so you have a baby food um and you found it like a whole case of baby food um several hundred cases on sale maybe 75 percent off but make sure that it's not like still it's the expiry date is not quicker it should have at least like six months or something like that expiry date for these perishable items right uh, for other items you don't need to worry about it um but but um but if that's the case just get them up and and it's and then look for the ranking if the rank is low really low that means it's selling really high uh so it could be sold in like one or two days and if you can sell those uh just buy them so that's that's a retail arbitrage like you basically buy and then you could be sold in like within within a week or within a few weeks um so use and then you can get the money back with the profit on um so that's that's the beauty of retail arbitrage so things are already selling in in some of the stores and but it's on clearance it's a local clearance right basically and not everybody like there's a whole 50 different states and a whole lot of people they don't even have a walmart nearby and they don't like they just go online and everybody has phone uh, they can go online and just uh, order it in amazon.com even they're not going to verify the price or all those things so um you might think that who's going to buy this because they might go to walmart and buy it but somewhere in montana or something right um nobody like no walmart going to be there in in like maybe 50 months radius so in that case um they're just going to order online and just get it in two days in their in their house if they have a prime shipping right that's that's uh that's that's why people are buying it um and um so you need to think broad and just just if 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 the item is really good and branded and, and the rank is really good uh and you should buy it and just just do the retail arbitrage or you could just do the you know once you do the retail arbitrage uh, for a while and you get you get to know all this stuff uh then you basically move on to the wholesaling right instead of buying only a few maybe 10 15 of each item multiple different items just focus on maybe like you you sold uh, in the retail arbitrage let's say 500 different items in three months right you bought and you, you know you shipped it to the warehouse and they they sold everything uh, out of 500 let's say just do the stats on that um, and uh, you get a report from Amazon and see which one sold I which brand sold I which item sold I uh, all these things you can do analysis on that data and and then find out you know if you can contact the if you can get in touch with the wholesaler of that item or few items right uh you just need like three four five wholesaler uh, or even just one wholesaler they that, that has you know many items right uh, once you have that and just just um just contact the wholesaler and talk to them about you've been doing this uh and you're growing a lot and and don't tell them about retail arbitrage but just tell them that you have been selling right you have been selling different items you sold 500 plus items in 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 your store and stuff like that and then uh, you wanted to you know create a relationship with you with you with their company and that way like both are profitable um and you want to sell your customers and your customer base is growing and all those things you can write it to them or call them up right and once you get like not everybody is going to respond maybe like 10 percent response rate uh, from the wholesaler not nah, because there's there's going to be tons of emails they will be getting from all the amazon sellers there you know put, prospecting amazon sellers um so because of that just keep on contacting keep on emailing them and once you get a response and you set up account with them uh then you it's a time matter of just ordering uh and then you can actually ask them to ship it to the warehouse directly so in that case you don't need to even uh you don't need to even see the inventory right so that is when you, it becomes more passive um but until then it probably takes six months if you're really serious about it 
or it could take a one year right if you are not really doing this uh, you know almost every day or every other day then it could take one year uh, otherwise like within six months you should be able to um, get get the wholesale products um, you know few products um, shortlisted and then uh, got that uh, arranged for the, by the wholesaler to ship it to the warehouse once they ship it to the warehouse and it's just um, you just you don't do anything right Amazon will do everything and they will put a label on each items just to avoid the combing link um, so all these things done then you just basically just wait wait uh, for the you know money to be deposited into your account once it's uh, sold um, so they will be um, depositing any all the profits to all the money the revenues to your account direct deposit and then you basically use um, buy my buy more and you know just rinse and repeat the same thing right and that's how you you like you like you become more you know more millionaire uh, status in the in the future you, because you keep keep on doing this let's say you you make um, two thousand dollar a month uh, additional profit in addition to your other work that you're doing right so and then it, it's going to grow exponentially uh, if you keep on adding more products or if you do more research and see what's what's going on and look into that data and stuff like that right so once you have all these figured out it's going to grow 2000 will become 4000 8000 10000 20000 you know there there's no limit on amazon like you could uh, because amazon sold like 180 billion or something uh, they they actually uh, the shipping charge itself like almost 20 billion dollar last year i think uh for them right uh so that's a whole lot of and then they're like 180 million prime customers um just in us alone and they are in 14 different countries and so it's just um it's a whole lot uh, the, so you like you could be making a million dollar a day a profit that's possible completely there are there are companies doing that but they have thousands of products selling in amazon and they are they are all sold by amazon warehouse right so that they have like i think 30 different warehouses or something like that in in the nation um so it's all over the states and uh different uh states you, you just have to understand this business model and then um and then get in get in touch with a few wholesaler and they're going to you know uh they're going to make you some profit so that's 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 a whole story here and uh i hope that this video uh is useful um and uh and uh you, you get some value out of this and i know this is kind of a long thing in a in a kind of a shorter video it's not really short but but still like you know there's a whole lot of things concised uh, in a, in a video uh, but um, but if you have any questions or anything like that um, on this any steps that uh, I talked about just just uh, feel free to leave a comment below and um, I will get, get back to you guys um, as soon as possible and um, I can even do a one-on-one -on -one session with you guys if, if you're anybody interested it's completely free um, and um, I just wanted to uh, help you guys to uh, make make you aware of you know how how to how to do this business um uh, home-based business but it, it needs some initial work uh, on this on your side uh, but once you've done that and once you learn the you know ins and out of this business and it's it's pretty easy and it's, it's very profitable business uh thank you again for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and um we will see you guys um next week Thank you.